Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is some goodies that I've gotten over the last several weeks that I wanted to share with you guys. I've got some amazing jewelry to show you. I've got a new powder foundation that I'm loving and some candles that I'm loving. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we jump right in, I do wanna mention the t-shirt that I'm wearing really quickly. I am obsessed, guys. You guys know I love a good v-neck tee. This one is really lightweight. It almost looks like a burnout tee, but it's not see-through, which is kind of crazy. It comes in a few different colors. I only grabbed it in the white color, but I will be getting more. I did go up a size, so I'll put sizing details as well as link it down below, but I love it. This, this tee is kind of amazing. I'm really, really obsessed. You can see it's definitely oversized, but I love a good oversized tee, so I definitely had to mention that really quickly. But next, let's go into some jewelry. So I have a ton, ton, ton of bracelets to share with you guys today. Um, these are all from Victoria Emerson. I am a Victoria Emerson partner. They are actually starting today having one of their largest sales for Labor Day. So starting today through the second, you can get 40 percent off site-wide. And I wanted to share with you guys a few pieces that I picked out. So first, the one that I am wearing is actually one single bracelet. So you guys are always asking for ideas and how I stack my bracelets. And I just love the fact that they have this whole collection that really takes the guesswork out of that. So if you are a little intimidated by stacking your bracelet, or maybe you just don't want to buy a ton of individual pieces, you can purchase something like this that has everything all in one. So this really is, let me take it off for you. This really is one bracelet. Is that not seriously amazing? Like how cool is this? The fact that it is one bracelet. So I have this one and of course I grabbed this one because it has a little touch of animal print in there, which I just thought was so fun. Here is another one that um, is also one bracelet. This one is a little bit a little bit dressier, I think, but I love, love, love these. I love the strand of the like little medallions or the coins, I guess you could say here. And then they have these really, really long um, strands that create these, um, they, they wrap around like four or five times and it basically becomes this like large wrap bracelet. You guys have seen me wear these before on Instagram. Um, I love them. I have a few different colors in this style as well and I just think again it is they have some like this one per, for instance is very similar in the tones of the stone so it looks very similar with the stack but they have some where the gradient of the stone changes so whenever you wrap it around your wrist it looks like individual bracelets that are all kind of intertwined together but I just think these are so pretty and then they have shorter ones that don't wrap around as much so if you don't want as um, you know as as big of a, of a wrap this one only wraps around three times. You can see, love the tones of this one. And then they also have these that have like the, the actual natural hairs that are just so beautiful. They have a leopard one that I have on my wish list. It sells out so fast. If it's in stock, I'll link it down below for you guys. But I just thought these were so beautiful. And the fact that you can get 40% off site-wide right now through the second, I would take advantage. It's really kind of the perfect time to stock up on teacher gifts, on you know secret Santa gifts, stocking stuffers for the holidays and things like that. But I just wanted to share these with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one back on because I'm gonna wear this one today. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the animal print. I love it. And they're so easy to put on. So it's magnetic. So I'm just gonna literally go like this and then bring this piece around. It grabs and it is on and we are good to go. Next, I wanted to go into a few candles that are recently purchased. So I actually did purchase more than this and the other ones that I purchased will be in an upcoming video, but I wanted to mention these in today's video. Um, the first one is so beautiful. I actually will be purchasing more of this candle. This is from Value Spa. It is the Gardenia scent. It smells in Incredible. I feel like sometimes gardenia can smell, I don't know, just a little, just faux. It doesn't smell real. And this one is a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I just love the jar. I think the jar is so beautiful. It's very, very heavy. This is a 16 ounce candle. I haven't started burning it yet. I know I shared this on stories with you guys because I just had to, but I really, really cannot wait to burn that one. And then I also got two more of the Diptyque candles. I've actually burned both of these before in like the mini travel sizes. So I purchased them in the full size. I got Gardenia. I love Gardena, obviously, and then I got roses. I obviously love florals. Um, this, the roses scent, I was obsessed, 
obsessed with. I really, really, really enjoyed this roses. It was very soft, very subtle, very romantic, and I just really, really loved it. And like I said, you guys know I love gardenia. So obviously I haven't even opened these, which I can go and open one for you guys if you guys wanna see what they look like. The packaging of these candles is so beautiful. Um, I just, I love the way they package their candles. It's really, really beautiful. These are definitely a splurge when it comes to candles. So I don't burn these every single day. This is what they look like. I don't burn these every single day because they are a pricey candle. I do have other more affordable brands. Like this one definitely is more of an affordable brand, the Value Spa. Um, so these are more like whenever I'm working from home and I'll burn it in the office or something like that. If we have people over, I might burn these just because they're a little fancier. But I love, love, love them. I've really, really fallen in love to, uh, with candles again over the last like month or two or three. Um, I've really, really fallen in, back in love with candles. I've always loved candles like who doesn't love candles but like burning them almost every single day I've just really fallen back in love with candles so yes these are really really good I'll link them down below Next, I wanna go into a few beauty products that I recently purchased and am currently trying out. Um, the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is the IT Celebration Foundation. So this was actually recommended by a few friends of mine and I ended up purchasing the, um, oh, I forgot what they call it, the illuminating one. I believe it was like the IT Celebration Illumination Foundation and it was the wrong one. I didn't realize that there was two because I just, I wasn't familiar with, with this particular product. And so I ended up buying the illuminating one and it was, I did not like it. And I was like, okay, why is mine so like, why does mine look like this? And I ended up finding out I had bought the wrong one. So I went back and I purchased this one. This one's just the regular IT Foundation Celebration uh, Foundation. It is a powder foundation and I do not wear it every day. Like I'm not wearing it today, just being honest, but I do really like it on days where I just don't feel like putting makeup on. I don't feel like putting makeup on, but I wanna you know, look somewhat presentable. Um, I really do like this. I will say if you put too much on, especially if you are drier or have any sort of texture or anything like that, obviously it's gonna bring out the dryness, it's gonna bring out the texture because it is a powder foundation. So that's just, you know, that's just, just the way that the product works. But if you want just a little something, like a light little dusted layer of this um, to get you out the door so that you look just a little bit more polished and put together, I really do enjoy this. I really like it. What I've been doing, if I find that I put a little too much or I need a little coverage in a little bit, a, a, a certain area, and it starts to look dry or cakey or whatever, I will actually just spritz like a facial mist over the top of it and then it actually settles pretty good. But I do really like that. I have been using it for the last like month or so and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I also bought the Ordinary. This is the uh, 10 minute exfoliating facial. It is a the, called the peeling solution, I believe. I have shared this with you guys on Instagram stories. It looks like a blood facial. When you put it on, it's kind of crazy. Um, but it works, like it really, really, truly works. And I talk to you guys about masks all the time. I think that masks are important. I was planning on doing like a skincare video, like really, really diving a little bit deeper into skincare. Not that I'm a skincare expert at all, but I love skincare and I love talking about skincare. And I look at skincare in two different categories. And this is the category that really, really, you're gonna notice a difference in your skin. Like it does the job and it's very affordable. I wanna say it was under $10. It was like $7 or $8. It was very affordable, right around in that price range. So definitely I recommend this. It is a once, twice a week type of situation. You're not gonna do this every day, even a few times a month, just depending on how sensitive your skin is. But I really, really like this. And then I also bought uh, the Super Goop. I ordered this as the Super Goop Super Screen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. Uh, sunscreen, guys, is so, so important. Moisturizing and sunscreen. Your, your skin needs to be hydrated, but it also needs to be protected. And so I started, I, well, I've always worn sunscreen, but I've really tried to look for moisturizers that had sunscreen. A lot of people don't realize that buying a sunscreen, like if you just buy a sunscreen, it doesn't usually have um, enough moisturizing benefits, like hydration benefits to actually be considered a moisturizer. I'm not saying it doesn't moisturize your skin or hy hydrate your skin some, but it's actually not a moisturizer and a sunscreen. It's usually just a sunscreen that might contain some moisturizing benefits. So I ended up purchasing this and I really do like it. It's been kind of, it's basically been my morning uh, moisturizer and sunscreen. I put it on before I put my primer and my foundation on. So I'm really, really enjoying 
this as well. I haven't had any issues. It glides on really, really, really nice. Um, this product, guys, I have fallen in love. I actually plan on doing a dedicated video, but obviously it's a newer product, so I wanted to mention in this. I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but it is by La Roche-Posay. It is their, um, their, their soothing balm, basically. Um, I don't wanna spoil the video that I have coming up on this product because I do wanna talk a little bit more in depth about this product, but I just wanna say to you guys, I'm already loving it. Like I honestly am obsessed. I've been using it for a while now and I just haven't had a chance to mention it in a haul video. I love it and I highly, highly recommend it. Stay tuned for more details on this. And then the next one is, I haven't used this product yet. Well, no, I've used it once. So I really can't give a good, like initial first impressions quite yet on it. This is from the brand called Ren Clean Skin. It's the glycolic lactic renewal, uh, radiance renewal mask. Um, similar in concept to this, it is a mask that you use once or twice a week and it is going to exfoliate the skin. This just does it in a different way with a different, with a different um, chemical, basically. Um, I read, uh, or I watched a few videos and some people recommended this, so I did purchase this. And like I said, I've used it once. I did like it, but I've used this multiple times. Definitely it works. Um, I was, I've been told that this works really, really well, but I can't specifically say that for myself quite yet. So just look, maybe if I mention this in a favorites or something like that, you guys might see this in the future, but I will link all of these skincare products and beauty products down below. So the last item that I have to share with you guys is something from Louis Vuitton. So this was definitely an unexpected purchase in terms of the fact that I wasn't expecting to purchase it now. I have made a few luxury purchases recently, so that is why I wasn't planning on purchasing this one, but I inquired about it a while back and I found out that it was being discontinued and I knew that that meant that if I came across one, especially brand new, that I needed to take advantage and purchase it right away and that is basically what happened in this case. This item is now discontinued. I don't even know if there's any left in the company. I know they are no longer going to be uh, creating this product any longer, um, but I've wanted it for quite a while, but I honestly didn't even think that it was like, it was it had a possibility of being discontinued, so I didn't really think I needed it anytime soon. And I happened to ask my essay about it, and just out of curiosity, be like, oh yeah, that's something that I wanna add to my wish list, just like down the line. She was like, well, girl, that's being discontinued. So I was like, okay. So I ended up finding it um, from, I've talked about the this company before, Julie Rose Boston, they're on Instagram. I ended up buying it from her, I inquired, um, with her about it to see if she could get it and she was able to source it for me. It is brand spanking new, it is not pre-loved. Um, so she did get it brand spanking new and I am like obsessed with it. It is so adorable. Let me go ahead and show you um, the product or the item that I purchased is, here is the little card from Julie Rose Boston. Uh, but the bag that I purchased, it's so cute. I have already pulled it out and looked at it, of course, whenever you purchase anything like that, I just always recommend looking at it. Um, but the bag that I purchased is, it's obviously really, really little. And it is the Speedy uh, Speedy Nano, the Speedy Nano, uh, and the Monogram. I am obsessed. So I've actually told you guys that I'd considered getting the Speedy Bandolier in the 25 size. And I just, I don't know, I just wanted to get something different. And when I found out that this held a phone and it held everything, like your, your like daily essentials, I just thought this was so perfect. I just think this is so adorable, so cute. I love crossbodies, you guys know. I love smaller bags, you guys know. So I just thought this was really, really cute. I did play slightly over retail, but not very much. Basically, if you consider that it would have been retail plus tax, I basically paid retail maybe a little bit more than that. Um, um, but I'm really, really happy with it. It's such a cute bag. I feel like this is gonna be a classic. It's basically, I mean, it is a Speedy, right? Speedies don't go out of style. They're not ever gonna, they're always gonna be classic. So I just felt that even though I wasn't necessarily looking to purchase this right away, I just felt like it was one of those items that I really, really wanted. I didn't want to risk the fact that I might not ever be able to get my hands on one of these or be able to get my hands on one of these at a 
realistic price, if that makes sense. Um, but I just think this is so adorable. It comes with obviously the longer strap and then the two shorter straps here. Um, but of course the strap hangs down like this. So I'll probably always carry this crossbody. The only thing that I will say about this and not that it's a complaint for me because it actually works for me perfectly, but just if it's something, if this is a bag that you're considering purchasing for yourself, um, there, this is not adjustable. The straps are basically, are exactly what they are. You cannot move them, but I just think this is such a cute bag. I really think this is just such an adorable bag. I think it'll be really great to have throughout the fall whenever I want a crossbody, but I don't want something super bulky whenever I'm wearing like a coat or jackets. I think it's super cute. So I'm excited to wear this and just style it and see. I mean, basically I would style it the same that I would like a speedy bandolier because that's basically what it is, but a super tiny version of it. I don't know, I just love it. I really just love it. I think it's actually a really good combo of a classic Speedy and a Speedy bandolier because the fact that you don't have the straps down the side, I feel like it looks more like a classic Speedy, but then you've got the extra like crossbody strap. So anyways, that is my newest purchase. I don't wanna say I'm on Van Island now because that's probably not going to happen, but you probably will not be seeing any more luxury purchases, at least for a very, very long time from me here on this channel. That is the plan, at least we will see. But I'll link everything down below for you guys. Make sure to check out Victoria Emerson to get 40% off right now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.